engine performance parameter by Dr. H. V. Mulimidi, working as assistant professor in BGMIT Mudur, Bagalkot, Karnataka. You can reach me at my personal website www.mulimidi.webs.com. Indicated power. Power is rate of doing work. Multiplying mass flow rate of air through the engine gives the power. That is, indicative power is equal to ma into network, where ma is ma is mass flow of air through the engine, given in kg per second. Network in kilojoules per kg. To get IP in kilo watts. Indicative power is defined as power developed inside the cylinder by combustion of the fuel. For engines, we determine the IP by indicated mean effective pressure, that is PM, which we are going to study in the next few slides. So IP is equal to P, that is mean effective pressure, L, A, N, K divided by 60,000 to get the IP in kilowatts, where PM is mean effective pressure in Newton per meter square. L is the length of the stroke in meter. A is the area of piston in meter square, which is equal to pi by 4 d square, where d is the area of the piston. N is the number of revolution per minute, where small n is number of strokes per minute. For 4 stroke, it is n by 2, and for 2 stroke, it is n equal to 1. And k is the number of cylinders. For remembering the IP, IP is equal to plan by 60,000 into K. Brake power. Brake power is the power available at the shaft. It is given by 2 pi nt by 60,000 in kilowatts, where n is speed in revolution per minute, t is the torque given in Newton meter, where t is equal to force into radius, that is f into r. F is tangential force on crank. R is the crank radius. Frictional power is a difference between indicated power and brake power. That is, Fp is equal to Ip minus Bp. It actually represents the total losses occurred from the indicated power. When a fuel is burnt, all the energy will not be converted to a useful fuel there will be some losses due to radiation and some losses due to the exhaust gases and small losses by cooling the cooling the engine and the other major loss will be a friction losses so for assume that we have burned a fuel and which is say, gives a hundred kilojoules of energy and some of the energy will be lost by radiation exhaust and by coolant that energy left out is known as indicated power. Indicated power is the power developed inside the cylinder. But after the power developed inside the cylinder, all the energy will not be again getting at as an output, that is at the shaft. So there will be some frictional losses. So at last we will be having the useful work that is about 20 to 40 percent only. So there will be a, some losses. Whatever the input we have given, we will be getting some output plus some loss. Mean effective pressure is the average pressure inside the cylinder. It increases as the pressure increases. For any particular engine at a given operating speed and an power output, there will be a specific indicated mean effective pressure and there will be corresponding brake mean effective pressure. So, IMEP, that is indicated mean effective pressure, is the average pressure inside the cylinder acting on the piston. So, IP is equal to, we already know it, as we discussed in the previous slide, it is plan divided by 60,000 into number of cylinders. So from this PM is equal to IP into 60,000 divided by L A N K. It can also be determined by the PV diagram. This PV diagram is also known as engine indicator diagram. As discussed, IP can be determined by measurement of forces developed inside the cylinder by the pressure of the expanding gases. 
that is it can be determined it can be also be used to determine the ip from pv diagram or engine indicator diagram the area 1 2 3 4 is indicated network of the cycle with area of rectangle abcd is equal to the area 1 2 3 4 then then the vertical distance between horizontal lines ab and cd represents indicated mean effective pressure the unit is newton per meter square so pm is equal to net work of the cycle divided by v1 minus v2 or it can be also be indicated by pm is equal to area by length of indicator diagram into spring constant where length of indicator diagram is given by difference between the total volume and the clearance volume break mean effective pressure is the portion which produces the useful power delivered by the engine hence break mean effective pressure is the difference between indicated mean effective pressure and frictional mean effective pressure since break mean effective pressure is that portion of indicated mean effective pressure which goes into the development of useful power as indicated mean effective pressure has relationship with indicative power similarly break mean effective pressure also has the relationship with break power so bp by ip is equal to bmep by imep that is break mean effective pressure divided by i uh, indicated mean effective pressure which is equal to our mechanical efficiency both has a same relationship some of the important engine efficiency indicated thermal efficiency it is the ratio of indicated power to heat supplied that is indicated power divided by mass of fuel into its calorific value similarly break thermal efficiency is given by bp divided by mass of fuel into its calorific value mechanical efficiency bp by ip break that is break power divided by indicative power volumetric efficiency is one of the important parameter which decides performance of four stroke engine as four stroke engine has a distinct suction stroke it is given by the ratio of mass of air to the atmospheric air density and volume displaced volumetric efficiency is an indication of the breathing ability of a engine so it can be defined as ratio of volume of air actually induced at ambient condition to swept volume it can also be de defined on the mass basis as the ratio of actual mass of air drawn into the engine during the given period of time to the theoretical mass which should have been drawn into the same period of time based upon the total piston displacement of the engine and the temperature and pressure of the surrounding atmosphere volumetric efficiency is affected by many variables like density of the fresh charge the exhaust gas in the clearance volume the design of intake and exhaust manifolds and also on the timing of intake and exhaust valves relative efficiency or efficiency ratio is the ratio of actual efficiency obtained from an engine to the theoretical efficiency of the engine cycle specific fuel consumption specific fuel consumption is equal to fuel consumption divided by power output that is it is a ratio of fuel consumed to power output if it is break specific fuel consumption then bsfc is equal to fuel consumption mf divided by pp if it is indicated specific fuel consumption then isfc is equal to mf divided by ip another parameter mean piston speed which is equal to 2 ln where l is a stroke n is a rpm number of revolution in rp let's solve a simple numerical the given datas are a single cylinder so k is equal to 1 is running at so you have the n equal to 1800 rpm and it develops a torque so torque is 8 newton meter 
and the indicator power is given as 1.8 kilowatts. So he has told us to find out the frictional power and the uh, find the loss due to the friction power as well as the percentage of BP. Okay, so we all know BP is equal to 2 pi at t by 60,000. So N equal to 1800 into torque, torque, torque is given as 8. Okay, so directly substitution we have uh, substituted. So we'll be getting 1.5 kilowatt. So FP is equal to IP minus BP. So we'll be getting it as 0.29 approximately 3 kilowatts. So percentage of loss is FP by BP. So we'll be getting it as 19.36.